What else is on your list? <laughs> it's about trusting other people that have not been trustworthy in the past. Can Is it the change in me, or is that just something that you shouldn't trust anymore? People are at different places on their path. And so sometimes their behavior is something that is satisfying to them, but not satisfying to you. But this is for sure. If you don't trust someone and you care about trusting, don't move forward with them because your expectation is going to dominate and you're going to get what you expect. So, so you can't change your expectation. You can, but then you're trusting. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. You follow all of that? <laughs> um, I'm in a plateau in my life now. No, you're not. I'm not. <laughs> okay. No one ever is. I perceive that I am. I am introducing enough resistance to every desire that I hold that I don't allow the momentum to get going, so it's slow going. It's really why we called on you because we want you to understand that you've got enough going on that you managed to get in the hot seat and that matters. Can you ever have too much going on in your vortex? No, but you can be going about it the hard way and then experience what humans call burnout. You can not be enlisting the energy that creates worlds and going about things the hard way and then get tired in the process. Okay. So how can I, better understand that to be able to not get tired in the process by deciding that how you feel matters to you and doing more things that bring you to a place of feeling good and then we've said get in the vortex and then we're saying get in sync with who you are and then hook up to the energy and then hook up to the energy and then see what feels good or are you feeling good in the energy well, if you're not feeling good, you're not hooked up to the energy and to consciously want to feel good is the path to that alignment. Okay. So let's talk through this because we're just sort of going around in circles and we're saying words and you're hearing the words, but nothing's moving in this conversation. So we're going to take a different approach. So I'm bored. I'm bored. I'm bored. There isn't anything to do here. I'm bored. So I think I'll go outside and see if I can find something more to do. So you go outside. This is boring too. <laughs> so you say, well, I think I'll go over there. That's boring too. And I think I'll go over there and that's boring too. And I'm talking to you, but you're boring. And I'm talking to you and you're boring and you're boring. I'm bored. You're boring. So you took action from a vibrational stance and the universe delivered to you a reflection of how you feel of where your vibration is. And so then you just say, well, I can't get there from there. I can't get there from there. And then often you look to others to help you be less bored. So you find an energetic person who is usually just delightful, but not for you, for you, they give you their most boring side because that's sort of the point of attraction. We're not saying you, we're saying you, in other words, anyone in that state of attraction. So by caring about the way you feel, so let's start again. I'm bored. I'm bored. What can I do to be less bored? I'm bored. I don't like the feeling of being bored. Well, rather than trying to figure out what to do and approach it in a conditional action oriented way, let's take an unconditional approach to it. So if I'm bored, what is it that I want? I want to be engaged. I want to be interested. I like the feeling of interest. I like the feeling. So something that is really important to realize is that if you in this moment know what boredom feels like, you have access to what's on the other side of that vibration because it's a wave you have access to it. 
especially in the early subtle stages now if you're out there looking for something to please you and not finding it and not finding it now you're just amplifying the momentum of where you're going but before you do any of that if you are realizing that you're bored and wanting to be more interested and so you don't have a lot of I'm really bored momentum and everything's bored momentum going on in this moment just making the statement I like to feel interested I like to be interested it would be fun to find something that's interesting just the idea of finding something that's interesting gets a little bit of momentum going and then from there your thoughts very likely will take off on things that have interested you or what you enjoy doing or maybe I'd like to go outside and so if you've just gone that far into some sort of vibrational alignment before you take action now the universe has a greater probability of yielding to you something that will be pleasing to you that's what we were talking about Does that make sense to you it does but I'm curious why you picked the board with me I never feel like I'm bored with anything is that something you're seeing in me <laughs> yeah, that I'm bored <laughs> You feel a little bored. That I'm bored? Does she feel bored to you? <laughs> Looking for support here, people. <laughs> <laughs> We're just using it as an example because if we had picked something that you commonly are, you would have defended yourself more. Your energy is not moving very fast. For whatever reason, you're not allowing it to. And so. How do I speed that up? We just told you. Okay. That's all. Okay. That, that's all. Thank you. Yeah, really good. Better than you know. We just encouraged you to go outside, but.